Now, Juice World versus Yellow Card. The battle continues. You might have heard about this lawsuit that was filed against Juice in the past. The case is still going, and I do have a couple things to say about this, so yeah. Let's talk about it. Now, in October 2019, Juice World found himself in a place where he was getting sued by a rock band by the name of Yellow Card. Yellow Card filed a lawsuit against Juice World for copyright infringement over his very much recognized hit song Lucid Dreams. The lawsuit claimed that he illegally sampled elements of their 2006 record titled Hollywood Died. I made a video about this situation when it was all going down. I'll link that video in the description below. Definitely watch that video and then come back to this one if you haven't seen it already because I'm not really gonna compare the songs like I did in that video. But that's what it was. They were suing Juice World for 15 million for the similarities in the cadence slash melody on Lucid Dreams, claiming that he was inspired by their song and their album. One connection they tried to make to validate their lawsuit was bringing up the fact that Juice World was in fifth grade when their album he's supposedly inspired by dropped. This might not make sense to you, but pretty much what they're saying is he expressed his love for emo pop rock music in various interviews. Juice World apparently educated educated himself on that specific genre to impress a girl when he was in fifth grade and that's the connection they're trying to make to validate it and obviously their song was released during that period of Juice's life and that's what ties it all together. And then another thing Juice World has publicly stated sometime in his career that he admires the band Fall Out Boy and specifically that he admires an album titled From Under the Cork they released in 2005. The connection Yellow Card was making in their lawsuit was through a producer who worked with Fall Out Boy on that album. Now this producer produced the same song they're claiming that Juice World copied. As you can see, they did some, I guess, detective work to make their case stronger. Now back in February, this lawsuit was actually put on hold. And no, it wasn't put on hold by Yellow Card, but it was put on hold by the judge who was handling the case. And she did that because no one had been appointed as the executor of Juice World's estate. This simply means no one had in the court of law been chosen as pretty much the owner of Juice World's estate. Estate is just just a word for everything that a person owns after they pass away by the way. And since Juice is no longer here with us, someone who's alive and here today needs to be named as the executor, which is a person who makes sure that the assets of the deceased person gets handled correctly. Recently, Juice World's mother got named as the head of his estate, which means this lawsuit can now officially proceed. I want to make one thing clear. Keep in mind that this lawsuit was pretty much automatically put on hold because there wasn't anyone who was the executor of Juice World's estate. I say that to say, now, when someone has officially been named as the head of his estate, the lawsuit automatically by default proceeds as a result of that. I only want to make this very clear to tell you that Yellow Card didn't go out of their way to keep this lawsuit going just now. So really, the only thing that's changed is there's now a head of the estate and now the lawsuit automatically opens up and continues. Even if that's the case, they didn't really pull it back even after Juice passed away. Keep in mind that it was the judge who had to put it on hold. So I think just that really tells us exactly what their intentions truly are. Obviously, there wasn't any emotions involved from the get-go if you were trying to sue a 20-year-old for 15 million. I say that to say I wasn't really expecting them to pull their lawsuit back just because he passed away. You probably now have a very clear vision of what exactly is going on with this entire Juice World versus Yellow Card situation. Obviously, the battle continues and I don't think they're gonna back down until they get this settled in court. I highly doubt that they're gonna win. I ain't no judge, okay? Don't get it twisted. But when it comes to the music side of things, these things have to be really evident. I mean, there's some slight cadence similarities in Lucid Dreams if you compare it to their song, but it's far from a 15 million similarity. Matter of fact, they better start uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, start laughing to the bank if they get 15 cents. These are 15 million dollars they are not entitled to. And they're really trying to sue for five times the amount of money his entire estate is worth. And I'm saying that, by the way, because it's been valued that Juice World's estate was worth around $3 million. So these guys are trying to get five times the amount, which is obviously a problem if you ask me. All I'm hoping and praying is that at the end, the money stays far away from Yellow Card because they definitely don't deserve a single penny. But yeah, Juice World versus Yellow Card continues. What do you think about this entire situation? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this.